Hello everybody, this is an instruction video on how to put together the 3D printed ornithopter mechanism I've been designing. This is version 1.1, works pretty well. So first up, we need to print off all our pieces. Uh, in particular, you will need six retaining rings, a manual crank and the manual crank handle, the shaft, wings parts A and B, the structural backing plate, the 13 tooth herringbone gear, and the 40 tooth herringbone gear, which is going to be the part we start with. So we'll take our backing plate, we'll slot the 40 tooth gear in, and we'll use one of our retaining rings to lock it in place on the back side. We snip it in there, and now we see that the gear can rotate, and it's pretty secure. We then take our 13 tooth gear, make sure we slot it in. We might need to bend the back plate a little bit, because the teeth are going to mesh nice and tightly. So bend it back a little bit, slot it in there, and you'll see that the gears rotate nicely together. Now, we're going to want to lock that 13 tooth gear in, just like before. So we're going to grab another retaining ring, slip it along the back plate, this is the easiest way to connect it in properly, and then you'll see that the two gears are now rotating together, there's no slippage between the teeth, they're both pretty secure in there, and you can give it a few good rotates to make sure that it is moving smoothly. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoy doing this at every angle because it's cool to see the thing you designed working. Now that that's working, we can move on to the next section, which is installing the shaft. Now hopefully you've noticed that the shaft isn't symmetric. There's a short side, and there's also a pin that is longer. And the point of this is to make sure that the short side can fit between these two gears. Now, if you were to try to use the long side for this, you'll know right away, because you will stop the gear's rotation, and you might hurt the gears while you're doing it. If you use the short side, you'll just run the gears right away. <laughs> Sorry. You'll use the short side to put through the hole on the 13 tooth gears uh, flywheel. Now once that's in, you're going to want to move it around a little bit, make sure it can rotate freely and follow the wheel. You're going to also want to rotate it over the 40 tooth gear to make sure that there is the room you need. Now you'll notice that it fits far enough through that you can use another retaining ring. So we're going to grab one and we're going to slot it in just like before to lock the shaft in place to the 13 tooth gear. Now wiggle it around a little bit, make sure it has some room, but also that it's not going to move out of place. And you can try rotating it to make sure that the shaft moves freely. Once this is done, we're ready to get started with the exciting part of the build. Now the wings can be a little bit fiddly, so we're going to talk through the mechanism. First of all, each of the wing segments has a long slot that is meant to fit over the connecting segments of the back plate. It fits over this top piece without falling all the way through. Each of the two wing segments, A and B, have the same slot, and it doesn't really matter which side you put A and which side you put B on, so long as you know that A and B are supposed to slot together at their top ends. The long pin of the shaft should go through them. It might be a little bit tricky, uh, depending on how you print it. But once it's through, you're going to wiggle them around a fair bit, make sure they have uh, relatively low friction, and then you should be good to go without any further connection. As I was saying, we are now clipped in place and the wings are ready to be mounted onto the back plate. We're going to move the shaft back over the backing plate and slot each of the wing segments onto the backing plate's connectors. And from here, we can try rotating the gear and make sure the wing mechanism flaps as intended. We see it does, and we're good to go. And with that, the basic mechanism is complete. But what if we want to turn it a little more easily? Well, we're going to use this slot on the first gear. Let's grab our two remaining pieces. Our manual crank has a piece at the top, which is going to fit into our gear. And on the bottom side, it has a hole where our handle is going to slot through. The handle has two grooves for retaining clips. So once we slot this through with the retaining clips in place, we should be able to rotate it freely. Now it's simply a matter of click, slot, and click again. And with that, we have a fully functional manual handle. So let's take our machine and let's slot this handle into the first gear. And with that, the mechanism is complete. Let's try out the manual crank. See, the wings are turning nice and quickly here. And that's it. This is version 1.1 of the mechanism, completely 3D printed, done. Please feel free to print your own. I'd love to see what you come up with. And as for me, I'm going to keep working on simplifying this mechanism. 
lowering the mass and making this whole thing a little more compact before fitting it into a nice frame for a bird or other design.